This is a video guide to help organizations complete a mock recall in the Product Recall NZ system. Whether your organization is revisiting a food control plan, risk management program, national program, or simply practicing, mock mode is a great way to practice how you would communicate notice of a recall or withdrawal to trading partners and regulators in a genuine event. First, think of a recall scenario that could involve one or more of your products, then go to productrecallnz.org to begin. On the login screen, enter your username and password, select mock mode, and log in. If you can't remember your password, select forgot password and follow the prompts. Once logged in, you will arrive at the initiated notifications screen. A large red mock banner will indicate that you are now in mock mode. Click create a new notification to begin. A dialog box will appear reminding you that you are creating a mock notification. Select OK to continue. A notification is made up of a series of screens with both mandatory and optional information. The first screen is called the Notification Details screen. This is where you specify the following fields. Once all these fields are filled out, you can save the notification for the first time. The left hand menu shows all screens to be completed and indicates the number of mandatory fields on each screen. To complete the mock notification process, you must complete all mandatory fields, including adding at least one recipient. At this point, you can click Close to leave the notification and your progress will be saved. When you wish to work on it again, click Edit to continue filling out the forms. If you're unsure what a field is asking, please access Field Help by scrolling your mouse over any question mark symbol. Every screen also has a corresponding help article that can be accessed by clicking the question mark icon in the top right of the screen. To make this scenario as realistic as possible, we suggest you choose a classification, then ensure that one of the regulators is ticked. To notify the regulator for food and beverage items, that means ticking MPI, which will prompt you to fill out an additional MPI screen. To navigate between screens, you can either click the links directly on the left-hand menu, or use the previous and next buttons on the bottom left. The MPI screen is based on Ministry for Primary Industries Recall Hazard Risk Analysis form. The Submit to MPI button will send the form directly to MPI, but for mock notifications this feature is disabled. The Products screen is where you specify which products are affected. If your recall scenario involves a product that has reached the point of sale, select Base Unit for Packaging Level and enter the barcode number into the GTIN field. If no GTIN exists, add an alternate identifier. Continue filling in all mandatory information, including the tracking code, which specifies the specific group of affected products, for example, best before date or batch number. Please note you can add an additional packaging level underneath this section. For example, the case details of the point of sale unit already specified. Once finished, you can go to the Summary of Products screen where you can review and manage all products. Please note that each unique product or SKU requires a separate product form to be filled out. As you move through the notification screens, filling out mandatory fields, you will arrive at the recipient screens. Make it realistic and add actual trading partners. Don't worry, as you're creating a mock notification, none of your trading partners will receive emails, texts, or be at all confused. You can add both subscribed recipients and non-subscribed recipients. Subscribed recipients can log in, respond, and on-send the notification. Search for them using the filters, for example, organization name. Add them from the list of available recipients by ticking and selecting Add to Notification. To review added recipients, click on the second tab above the filters. On the other hand, non-subscribed recipients cannot log in or respond. They will only receive an alert email with basic notification details. However, in mock mode, alert emails are disabled. Non-subscribed recipients can be added one at a time by filling out these three fields and clicking Add to Notification. Or you can add multiple by downloading, completing and uploading this template. Some subscribed recipients require additional information. This must be filled in on the Additional Information screen.
The Submit screen is where you can review all recipients before submitting for approval. You can't submit for approval if there are missing mandatory fields. Locate and complete all missing mandatory fields, then return to the Submit screen. When all fields are completed, you can now click Submit for Approval. Once submitted, you will be returned to the Initiated Notifications screen and can see the notification with a status of Submitted for Approval. If you are also set up to approve notifications, you will see the option to approve slash reject. Otherwise, an approver, who will have received an email alert, will need to log in. The approver user must click Approve slash Reject to review the notification, then select Approve Notification and click Yes to issue the notification. Your notification has now been made live and sent to GS1 New Zealand for review. If the approver rejects the notification instead, it will return to draft status and will need to be resubmitted. Congratulations! Your mock notification has now been completed and the Product Recall NZ team will review and send you a feedback report within the next three working days. If this were a genuine notification, you would be able to review your trading partner's reporting activity on the progress report. However, as this is a mock, all of these will be at unread status. If you wish to download a PDF version of your mock notification, select View Detail and then Export PDF.